I remember my first asthma attack. My family was traveling before the interstate was built in our old Chevy down two lane highways from DeSmet, South Dakota to the Ozarks of Missouri to visit relatives at Christmas. And my sister and I were exploring under the seat in the back, stirring up dust as we were discovering lost coins and toys. Not long after, I could not get my breath. What followed was years of asthma. I remember many nights lying awake, having trouble breathing until my doctor provided an adrenaline-like rescue inhaler. Wow! One puff of the rescue medicine meant airways opened and I could breathe, and so I could sleep. It changed my life. Asthma, like chronic bronchitis and emphysema, is a wheezing condition where airways are partially blocked or obstructed while trying to breathe out trapping air and overexpanding the lungs. The cause of obstruction in asthma is from bronchial tube inflammation and results in twitchy, over-tightened, tiny muscles that surround bronchial tubes. Adrenaline-like medicines, also called beta agonists, are the rescue wonder drugs of asthma since they very quickly relax those twitchy muscles, giving immediate relief to an asthmatic. However, this does not touch the inflammation. And when beta agonists are used too often, bronchial muscles get used to the drug and develop resistance and higher doses are required and bronchial tubes and tiny muscles get even more irritable. Here is the rub. Studies have found increased asthma deaths occur when beta agonist inhalers are overused. What works so good can kill you. Whoa. But all is not lost. Steroid inhalers turn off the primary cause for asthma, inflammation. And when inhaled steroids are added, it breaks the cycle and even can protect the patient from danger resulting from beta agonists. Thus, clinicians should always prescribe steroid inhalers when asthma gets bad enough. Drug manufacturers are now putting together beta agonists with steroids into one inhaler, which give patients immediate relief provided by the beta agonist, and get to the inflammatory bottom of the problem with steroids. Since beta agonists work so fast, they almost trick patients into using steroids that take time to work. Remember, beta agonists should only be used alone as an occasional rescue medicine. And if they're needed daily or too frequently, then the patient needs more anti-inflammatory steroids. So, steering, uh, stirring up dust in the back seat of the old Chevy does not have to make your life so miserable.